Hey, this is Sasha Evdikov, founder of TradersFly.com and InvestingHelpDesk.com, here to answer a few of your investing and trading questions in detail in video format. So today's question is, which trading platform or broker would you recommend for a new trader? I get this question all the time, so there's a few different ways to answer this. First off, if you haven't seen my video, How to Choose the Right Stock Broker for You and Your trading needs, make sure you watch this video. You can find it at this location or by just clicking this button on the right. Uh, another video that may actually help you is also which online stock broker should you choose. This video is a little bit older, but it'll still give you some more insight to choosing the appropriate broker. Now, in this video, I'll still give you some basic guidelines um, regarding choosing your broker. It's not that one specific broker is the best broker. Just like choosing a car, whether that's a convertible, a sedan, a van, a truck, every car vehicle is going to be different for that type of person along with the different color choices and options that you want. It is going to come down to the type of trading that you personally do. So typically, initially, most people choose a broker based on fees, meaning commission rates. They want to choose lower commission rates. But this is not always the best way to choose a broker. Think of it as choosing the cheapest car possible. It's not always going to be reliable if that is what you're choosing on. Or even the most expensive car is not always the most reliable, like the BMW or the Audi. Although they have high performance, even like a Ferrari, the maintenance and the reliability of them is just not the same as a Honda or a Toyota. So initially, when you first start, when you're just getting started into trading, my personal recommendation was is to that you should choose a broker that has a great customer support team as you will need more guidance or help if something goes wrong or you simply have a question. They'll be there to help you to lend you a hand and answer those questions when you have them. Some of these brokers might be uh, like a TD Ameritrade, a Trade King, E-Trade, Scott Trade, or Trade Station. Think of any of the big broker firms out there. Um, and uh, based on some other little factors, uh, then you can choose your broker. But in general, looking for good customer support is what you want. TD Ameritrade, Trade King, they're all pretty good. E-Trade as well. Uh, Scott Trade, they're, they're also on top of things. Their panel's a little bit older and Trade Station. So going with a big box broker, is pretty good initially because they have a large support staff where if you call in, you have a question, they'll answer it. They have a huge team and that's one of the reasons why they are a little more expensive. So you will pay a little more on fees every time you make a trade, but in the end, that's really what you're getting is that support uh, because they have the staff to handle that. Now, after some time, you may go to a broker where the rates and commissions are cheaper, allowing you to earn more by cutting your trading expenses. But there is less technical support. Some of them do not have a full-time staff available or a staff available that's you know around 5, 10 hours per weekday. So in that case, that's why they can do the cheaper commission rate. Sometimes you can only contact them by email. And in either case, some of these brokers may be like interactive brokers and Lightspeed. Although interactive brokers, I have noticed they they've been pretty good on their uh, on their uh, technical support and their customer support recently as well. Uh, they used to do it a lot less, but now they're even a lot better. But they do have minimums. You have to tr be a little more active in trading, and if you don't hit the minimums, then you do have to uh, pay those minimum fees, whether you make a single trade for that whole month or you don't. Keep in mind though, even if you wanna go with a different broker that's a little more expensive, most brokers will negotiate the rates with you if you are an active trader. The more trading that you do, the better rates you can get. Just like ordering business cards, if you order 1,000 business cards versus 20,000 business cards, you'll be able to get a better rate. So that's the thing with brokers is they will negotiate the rates, but you do need to show activity. If you're making less than 500 or less than uh, 500 trades per month, then you're not really an active trader. You're kind of trading, but 
you're not really that that active for them. Uh, if you're doing like a thousand, two thousand trades a month, now you start to get into some serious activities, and the fees start to add up, and that's really where they start negotiating their rates with you. Thanks for joining me in this video. If you'd like to see more questions and answers like this video, then visit my website at investinghelpdesk.com. Now, if you want to get the latest news as far as the latest training that I'm releasing, then click here on the Get the Newsletter button, or you can check out my YouTube channel, subscribe to the YouTube channel, or go ahead and take a look at some of the courses and books that I have available as well by just clicking one of these buttons right here on screen, and you'll be taken to one of those corresponding pages. Thanks again for joining me. Remember that there's more to life than just financial gain. Go out, do what you love, contribute to others, but most importantly, live life abundantly. I'll see you next time.